Hello my crafty friends, this is Sherry. How's everyone doing today? I'm so excited to work with some Craspire goodies today. These are not all from Craspire here. I'll show you which ones are from Craspire. But yes, I am. Uh, this is the first. I did an unboxing video last Sunday and showed you what I got from T um, T Craspire.com. And uh, so this week uh, is my first demonstration video and we're going to make a beautiful Halloween tassel. So let me show you what I pulled out. First of all, the Craspire goodies are right here. This is everything I got from Craspire. Also these. Oh, I wanted, I saw these glittery ribbons and I didn't have anything like that. So that's why I got these. Uh, these are the ones I'm going to, going to use today, but I have these handy in case I need them. And I also picked up these pretty green ribbons from Craspire with the gold stars. So I'm going to be using some of that today. And then the other things I have here are things I pulled out of my stash. And this is also from Craspire, this beautiful purple ribbon. So that's I'm going to use that today. So, yes, we're going to make a tassel. And we're going to see if we can do this in real time. But if I feel like we're getting too much, video is getting too long, I'll pause and get some of the ribbons together. And then we'll go from there. But I'm going to start with this one first. I'm going to... My tassels, if you've seen my tassels, <laughs> I love them and they get so fluffy and long. I'm trying to control and I try to control them, but I always lose control. But they turn out so beautiful. And what, what's, a, what's a girl to do? So, anyway, I'm so glad you're here. So, I hope you will, you know, craft along with me and things like that. So, happy Sunday. So, let me see. Where's my ruler? Maybe I should measure. <laughs> That might help. So this is 12. I think I want 14. So a couple more inches. Let me put this right there. Okay, that should be 14. So I'm going to let this be my guide, this first piece here. And so it's a be beautiful purple uh, ribbon, as you can see from Craspire. So all the information, links and links to the products, links to the website will be below. So... That is a loud bird. Did you hear that? It's, it's over coming through my dining room, which is on the other side of my house. I can hear it coming through my dining room window. Beautiful chirping now. I love to hear the birds chirping, even if they're loud. Uh, so back to the, to the, to the tassel. Um, if you've never made a tassel, uh, this is a super easy way to make one, what I'm doing today. So, you know, you could, uh, do it this way if you wanted to try it and I would say you know I try to put colors together that I think will look good together but I also try to just you know if you don't want to try to match colors just pull out a bunch of bunch of colors of ribbons or yarn or you know fabric strips whatever you might have or you have some fabric you can tear it if it's cottony you can tear it, or if you need to cut it, you can cut it into strips. But I'd be, I would say, because I kind of had a hang up about that. This that's why I say this because I would say try not to, don't worry about being so matchy matchy, and just put it together and see what happens. You know what I mean? Just put all your pretty things together and see what happens. <laughs> so I've got four of the purple here, and they're about 14 inches long. Now let's get some of the Craspire. This is Craspire. Uh, let's see what's you know I tend to over overload my my tassels. This is a purpley one. Let's use this one next. I haven't used this before. It's got the tape on it. I just got these like a week or so ago. Did my unboxing last Sunday, and now and I find and I've already used a, a lot of the this glittery ribbon is just so perfect to add a pretty touch to your anything really I used some if you didn't see that video yesterday I used some in a tassel oh my goodness look how pretty that is already next to each other I used some in my flamingo tassel <laughs> my flamingo journal tassel and that came out so gorgeous so that video was yesterday if you want to see that just go back one day on my channel and you will see that I love it so much. It's so gorgeous. 
and then uh, I use some as a tag topper. It's a perfect little ribbon, not too thick uh, as far as thickness and then not too wide. So it goes into a little you know hole that you punch in the top of a card stock or papery you know tag that you can put this it's very lightweight so it wouldn't you know you still have to be careful but you wouldn't you know tear your paper if you're careful so there's three of those so we use two of them that was a purpley one a kind of almost like a burgundyish one this is another purpley one and I'm not, you know, you don't have to put it together in any certain order. You know, you know what I mean? Don't worry about that if you've never made one before. Don't worry about the order that you're putting them down in. And so this is what I do. I just kind of line them up like this. There's another pretty one, purpley. We'll get three of those. This is what takes the most time, just cutting your ribbons and getting your length here. This one wants to curl up a little bit, but that's okay. That is perfectly fine. It doesn't have to lay down here straight. We we'll just get it, get it down here, like this. And one more of these. Let's get some green ones in here next. Oh, we got a lot of purple here. We got the burgundy-ish, two purples. So here we go. Just, like I said, this one wants to curl up for some reason, but that's okay. We'll just stretch it out as best we can. Stretch out. Just stay. Okay, there's that one. Okay, now some of the green cross fire ribbon. This is a nice, not too wide ribbon too. So it's the same. I like these. This one will look beautiful in here, but it would also, this wider purple one, would also look great as a closure. You know, one you want to, oops. Well, that would be a little easier. Look, that comes apart and I'm sure I can put it back together but it might make it easier to get the tape off of here. Taking that off for a second. Quite by accident, but it worked out well. Okay, so yeah, that purple ribbon there, the wider one, that would be a great, nice, sturdy, strong journal closure. And it's so beautiful, and it would look great on any type of journal where, you know, maybe it matched the colors or a Halloween type color. You need a Halloween color. Okay, so this one's green with the gold stars. This is going to add a nice uh, little bit of bling also with the stars, with the gold stars and the color. I like green and purple, and orange and black. You know, I like all the Halloween colors. Um, but I like to make sure if I can have purple and green in there, it just adds a little something different than just the, you know, orange and black that you might, you know, might be kind of standard Halloween colors. You get a little bit of something different. Okay, there's three of those. I seem to be putting three of everything except the purple wide ribbon I did four. I'm just like, you know, what I said. My, I seem to overstuff my, that one. I wish it would lay a little flatter, but it'll be all right. Okay, so they are here. Let's see. Let's add some eyelash trim next. Let me see which one I want to grab. Well, I really want to put some of this in. This is a yarn. See the tape around there? It came It came like this. I have not used this yet. Got it at a thrift store. So I probably should have taken the tape off, taken the tape off before the video, but we will manage. This might be something I need to pause for. <laughs> it's really stuck on there. Here, I'm getting a little okay here we go I ripped it that's a good sign okay now it's coming off okay I don't want to like tear apart this yarn either you wouldn't think masking tape would be so sticky it's just masking tape but we're gonna have to wow they're probably they probably didn't they that the thrift store probably put this on here to keep it together I don't think they really knew how sticky it was they probably were thinking well Masking tape's not too sticky, so but I'm taking it off of, off of here, and it's not going to go back on here. That's for sure, because that's going to ruin kind of almost. It could almost ruin the yarn. Okay, let's get it back. All, all the little pieces I pulled out. Let's get them back together. Now to find an end, that will be also another challenge. Here, I don't know. I, if I can't find an end, I'll just start. I'll just cut it and make my own end. 
but like this right here it's coming out so let's just cut this <laughs> it will be what it will be okay so I like yarn I like I mean you can just use straight pieces of yarn I have used those before in a tassel but these little chunky different chunky kind of yarns if you see these at thrift stores I think they're a lot of fun because I'm going to tie a knot in, in this one this is where I pulled some of the masking tape off and it's like trying to make the yarn come apart uh, that is one thing you might want to watch out for in yarns like this one doesn't seem to come be coming apart really except for where I pulled the masking tape off but these uh, it has some kind of a thread around it that's holding it together it's a yarn like a few pieces of yarn kind of wound together and then there's a thread around it that's holding it together really nice that is cool this is a little short okay so I'm going to put that one to the side and get one that's long enough but yeah if you have one that's just wound together and doesn't have that thread holding it together uh, what I do is tie a knot on the end to make sure it doesn't come unraveled. So, yeah, I have done that many times before. And so, see, look what a nice, all the colors in the yarn are added, plus that texture and softness. So three of those. And then, uh, let's pick out, I want to use some of this. This is some, like, seam binding or something that I found at a thrift store of course <laughs> but it's kind of neat uh, it's like thin ribbon it's like ribbon it is it's like a ribbon so that's why I want to just use a few pieces of this to add like almost instead of black something a little different blue it's navy blue so a couple of these maybe at least maybe three to add that dark kind of you know dark we'll call it dark night sky how about that dark blue and I've never used it before so that's one reason I was like back and forth on should I use it should I not use it and I said I'm gonna use it like because like I said I'm telling you I'm talking to myself too don't be afraid to put your stuff together just put it together and see what happens so that is what I'm doing oh I almost dropped it okay all right, so we've got that in there. Now, another thing I like to put in my tassels, which I have a lot of. First of all, I had someone send me some. Oh, wow, there's, let me see all the colors I have. Here's a purplish blue one. But I had someone send me, before I had any eyelash trim before, I had a friend send me, oh, look at this one here, a bunch of eyelash trim like this in these little bags. There's like three or four different ones in here right now and so that was my first eyelash trim and I still have some still using them and then I found years later <laughs> like last year I found some myself I found a bunch so and it just adds a super fun texture in journals I mean in tassels and the color of course and you can use eyelash trim on the top of tags and things too. And you can use it by itself or you can use it in a combination with another something or other that you're putting on the top of a ribbon or something. <clears throat> uh, string, whatever you might be using on the top of your tag. Okay, so we did three of those. I would like to see, that's a purpley one. Let me see what other colors I have here. Oh, oh there's an orange-ish yarn in here. Let me see, do I have an orange-ish I see some orangish colored uh, eyelash trim in this bag. So let's pull that out. Oh, it's kind of pink. But I'm going to go with what I said. Don't be afraid to add all the colors. <laughs> I think it'll be a nice, you know, how it's kind of like going toward the dark side here. <laughs> we need something to lighten it up. So this will be our lightener here. <laughs> lighten it up a little bit. So, and so, yeah, things like this, too, make it nice and fluffy. That, oh, there's a little piece there. I'll have to save that for a tag or something. So, uh, what else do I have here? Uh, I would like to, something else, so lighten it up. There's a yarn in here that's kind of, like, telling me to pull it out. Like, pull me out and see what I am. 
it's a, a soft yarn. Let's see, there's a couple pieces. There's a short orange piece, so that's not long enough. But this one right here, kind of almost like the same colors as in that eyelash trim right there. Kind of a salmon-y color. I should put this away for my for my next flamenco journal, but who knows when that will be. <laughs> so I'm just going to use it now and worry about my next flamingo journal when it happens. Uh, so Because it could be next year. I probably won't make another one until next summer. Okay. Unless somebody says, I need, I need a flamingo journal right now. <laughs> so uh, there's a little knot here. Let me get this undone. Let me get this undone. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's only like probably two pieces here. So see another lightener here. Lighten it up. <clears throat> Lighten and brighten. Oh, that's so perfect. Just use it up right then and there. Now, some ribbon here that I want to put in. Some orange. I do want to put some orange in here. And this will also lighten and brighten it up. So let's do some of these. And look how fluffy it's getting. Oops, don't mess it up, Sherry. Okay. Let's get this tape. Well, that is, I'm like tightening the tape instead of pulling it off. This is the first time I've used this one. I, no, no, I've used this one before. That's my tape. I recognize it. The tape that comes on these is a little, you know, thin one that's not very wide, and that's a wider tape, so that's my tape. Okay, so this will really lighten and brighten it up. Let's put one out here on the edge, on this edge. Make it nice and long enough. I'm kind of... Cutting kind of an angle cut, if I can, manage it at the end. One in the middle, and one on this end, on this side right here. Right by me, which you can't see. <laughs> Trust me, it's over here on this end. I'll move it over in a second. Okay, let's, let me go ahead and just move it over a little. There you go, now you can see everything. I pushed it together. Okay, now before we stop, let me take a look. There's one that's calling my name here. It could lighten and brighten it up and add a really pretty color to it. This one right here. It doesn't look like a Halloween color, but it just I'm it just looks so beautiful over there sitting on my table. I thought, hmm, I think I need to add some of this. Okay. So that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Don't be afraid to add any color that speaks to you into a tassel just go for it and see what happens and you know this is going to look beautiful right <laughs> i do usually use some fabric but i um, just had so many things here as you can see i don't feel like i could really even have room for fabric i mean i could but you know what i mean i don't need it so i didn't pull out any fabric strips today i did look through some but i didn't really find any right off that I wanted to deal with so I didn't uh, get those out anyway so now we're going to gather it up and I have a notebook ring this is if you don't have a notebook ring you could use uh, if you have any kind of ring you don't have this one opens up I like these to use on journals because I can you know it's removable from the journal but if you just have any kind of ring of any kind or a big like one of those giant paper clips or Anything you can just string it through. Uh, if you don't have anything, just use a piece of ribbon and put it, you know, under here and wrap it around and tie a knot. Okay, I've done that before too. I happen to just I happen to have a bunch of these, so I'm using these right now. Like I said, so it's removable. Oh, I just wound that right around that piece of yarn when I dropped it. Okay, so gather it up right in the middle. Not measuring again or anything, just eyeballing it. Put my ring together. So the another, I mean, this is easy because you can get everything in there and it closes up. And using another ribbon or string around here, that would also be another way because it's open, and you can get it under there and bring it up and tie a knot here at the top. Okay, so then you make sure, like I have my opening right here. I kind of look at it and see if everything's kind of even. If it's not, I'll pull it on one end or the other and make sure it's as even as it can be. 
and uh, nothing you know you don't want to like a short piece up in here if somehow you got a short piece up in there you want to pull it down and because you know we made everything pretty much the same length for that reason so like this side these this side looks really short over here so let's pull this whole thing over <laughs> pretty much this purple one looks a little short and this blue one looks a little and some of them just might be long longer than the others so these orange ones here okay I think oh that's those orange ones yeah those need to be pulled like that I can see you can usually see when you pull on one side you can see where it's where it is on the other side okay so I think we might be pretty good to go here because we got one more step okay I'm going to leave it at that to not get too crazy and picky with it. I'm going to see if this will wrap around. This is the piece of eyelash trim that I cut off of that eyelash trim I was using. So that's what I usually do is just, if I have a scrap long enough to wrap around here, I'll do that. Otherwise, I'll just get a new piece long enough. So let's see if this will fit around here. So we're just going to tie a little topper here. Uh, it's going to be tight, but I still would like to see if I can use, just go ahead and use this up. And so let's just see how it tightens up a lot. So it's going to be plenty. Yeah, it's plenty long enough. And I tighten it up pretty tight there. Um, depending on how tight, you know, you don't have to make it real tight. You can, but you do make, make it tight enough so the things, your all your things don't move around. So, you know, make it tight enough so your ribbons don't move around or whatever you have in your tassel. I'm tying a double knot. Nice and tight. And then I can just let that hang down. Or you can tie a bow if you want. I do that a lot of times, but uh, this is pretty much done at this point. Uh, you can shake it out. See how this little orange ribbon here is sticking up a little bit right there. I mean, not much, but just kind of like I think I need to pull that down. So it's this one right here. So I just pulled it down so it's even with the others. You know what I mean? And I usually don't really try to move them around or anything. I just leave them where they landed, let them be. And because if you try to like, oh, I want this over here at this point, you know, you're just going to get frustrate yourself <laughs> uh, and end up maybe taking it apart and doing it over. But so you can see how pretty it is with all those different colors and fibers. And won't this look pretty on a on a Halloween journal? And so this one, I haven't made the journal yet for it. And so sometimes what I'll do too is look at the bottom and see like, um, is there anything like sticking way down below the others? Uh, I mean, you, you can cut it and make them all even. Like, if I were to try to make this all even, like I see the shortest one is way up here. So I'd have to cut all of this off, which is fine if you want to do that. I don't really want to do that. I don't really have to have them all even. But what I am going to do is just cut a little bit off. These right here are cut kind of just sticking down below the others. So just cut that little bit off right there. Let's see how she looks this piece right here just cutting it straight across across and is that piece sticking down too much this one right here okay there we go now it's a little bit more a little bit more even on the bottom and I think it's perfect because even if there is something like this purple one's up here, I think it just looks so pretty the way it is. And look at all the colors we used. And you can see the glittery cross spire ribbon in there. You can see right here and here. It makes a, a quite a big difference as you kind of look through the tassel and see that glittery ribbon peeking out. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you've never checked out cross spire, <clears throat> You might think, or if you've heard of it and seen all of the wax seal videos, you might not know that they have beautiful trims and ribbons. And this is the second time I've picked up trims and ribbons from Crestfire. And I always have trouble narrowing it down because they have so many. And so anyway, check it out. Just to check it out and use my links so that they'll know you came from my video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.